Cindy Borgstrom is here from E Waste Management. The E is for electronics. Electronic waste management, yes. Like electronic it is. waste management. I know you made the drive up from, from San Francisco this morning, so thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Not bad Always coming to Lake Tahoe, and then you and you yeah. and uh, you and uh, Andy get to just hang out for the weekend, huh? That's kind of nice. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, one of the perks. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what? What's the deal? Like with our dump, you must be very familiar. You, you can't take your computers and your televisions and your, your your cords and all your electronic stuff to the dump, or if you do, they charge you. How they does it work? You. That's they what it is. You. They charge you. And I don't really know what the fee is because okay. for a while they had a grant but they charge you and it was free, but I'm not sure where it's gone from there. Right. But typically mm -hmm. when you do go to one, whether it's here or anywhere else, right. they're going to charge you some kind of a fee. Because it's difficult to get rid of is what the issue is for people. Um, I guess, you don't think so, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we do it for free. What can I say? Right. Exactly. Good but, point. But a lot of other people want and need to make money. Right. Mormon. But the reason you come to town is to make it so that there's a weekend. Because this year it's the 27th and 28th of April. Yes. For people to take all that e-waste that builds up at the house. God, there's more and more of it. It seems like there is. And get rid of it for free. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For the, the only thing is that if you're from Nevada, that's right. There's going to be a small <clears throat> fee for the CRTs. Yeah. Which is the the old TVs, the fat ones, uh -huh. and the old monitors. Which you must be seeing more and more. I mean, those things. God, yeah, get rid yeah, of them, huh? They, they are. But yeah. everything else is totally free. And then talk about what you do with the e-waste. It's always kind of interesting to me how it all gets broken down and what you do. I mean, you guys are super efficient. You go from town to town doing this, right? Yeah, yeah. And we collect it from businesses. We also get them from residents drop off at our facility and such. So what happens ultimately is that we actually take it to a, another recycler and such. Computers are disassembled at our facility so that now the green board, the memory stick, all those things are used and looked at for reuse, possible mm -hmm. reuse. Otherwise, it will go to an end smelter or such and it will be reused into a new product. Uh -huh. the, so, so it is recycled it or is reused. Recycled, yes. They call it urban mining oftentimes because it's really not that you're going and getting the minerals out of the ground any longer, but instead preserving those mountains and minerals right. and allowing us to reuse what we have. The other thing too that's brand new as opposed to what we did have been doing the previous years is we have something called a degauzer, which is really cool. It's a degauzer? A degauzer. I like it already. What's it do? People actually ask about their data. What about my data? Totally. You know, that's, that's what I was just going to ask you. Whether it's your cell phone, some fax machines and printers will hold data on it. Um, you're looking at hard drives. Your, yeah, your sorts. hard drive, man. Exactly. For us, every hard drive is called degauzer. It goes into this unit. And what happens is the magnetic field that holds that information onto the disks is blown apart. So that hard drive can never be used again. Uh -huh. No data is on it and it's destroyed. It's basically metal scrap. Uh -huh. Where do you guys get that from? Like the CIA or somebody? Actually, it is approved through the Defense Department. Yeah. yeah I, I, this is a particular I'm familiar model, with the, not yes. the name of the product, but the product. Yes. You got to erase that stuff on certain computers exactly. for, for obvious reasons. And you know, you don't think about it. Like all your personal stuff, your banking, that's on there. You don't want people to be paranoid to throw away their computer because exactly. of that. So, yeah. so and it in is taken. cases, <clears throat> absolutely. It's better that someone, if they're going to dump it off somewhere else, that they get rid of that information. They take it out. They can slam up the hard drive with a hammer or something. Does that do it? That doesn't but always do it, though, does it? That doesn't always right. do it because you really have to be careful. There may be fragments left on there. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line to it is I want people to understand that we do have now a very... We used to do it through software. Mm -hmm. We do still have software that can government wipe it. But we have a degauzer. It's almost like this, this metal safe. You put the thing into yep. it, hard drive, and it does its thing, and it can never That's be That's a nice again. feature for you guys to better say, hey, don't, it is going to ultimately secure get, us. yeah, secure, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and every, the team that actually Boom. deals with that specifically in our warehouse is all background checked, and right. we're on the verge of our certification. All we're doing is waiting for our, our certificate to come through that we're R2 and ISO 14,000. God, and right? like, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so right. the, uh, you guys be at the middle school, I assume, where you always yes. are, uh, the yes. 27th and 28th of April. Is there yes. any last bit of information people need to know to bring their stuff there? I mean, you mentioned the, um, the, the Nevada resident thing. But yeah. any other? Not really. If you have any other questions or want to find out more information, and we do have a toll-free number also, just go to our website, which is noewaste.com, mm -hmm. and it's on the screen, right N-O-E-W-A-S-T-E.com. Cool. And otherwise, um, we're going to be there 9 to 3 both days 
And in June, since it is the refuge center, it, it's the oh, cleanup day. Oh, that's right. That's a big one for yeah. us in the summer. Yeah, so we're summer. in the refuge center if you're coming there anyway. <laughs> yeah. But if you don't have to go there, don't pay the additional $5. And just come over to the middle school, and we'll be there too. And if you have businesses, come over there. Keeps it simple. What do you got yeah. going for the rest of the day? I mean, you know, you, I know you came up to, to let, get the word <laughs> out. What do, you, what, do you, what do you and Andy do for the rest of the day? Actually, just go and enjoy the scenery. <laughs> good. Well, good. Enjoy yeah. your day, and, uh, and Thank thanks you. for coming up to Tahoe. And, Helping Thank us you. get rid of our electronic waste. We love being here. There you go, Cindy from E-Waste Man. We'll take a quick break and come back with your weather. And Ski Patrol is here from Heavenly. Stay with.